Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I got the August tonic craft kit. It was late this month due to shipping um, issues, but uh, it got here. So I thought I would share it with you guys today. And um, yeah, I already took a sneak peek at it. I'm I'm fairly happy with it. Y'all know I, I love interactive cards, and this does have a um, an interactive element to it. So anyway, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell if you like what you see. Please hit that subscribe button, ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, Y'all might notice my nails are painted. And they are actually horrendous. Um, Y'all know. <laughs> I don't do my nails very often. Uh, just because to me it's a big headache. As far as the upkeep and maintenance goes. But I've decided to try. And <laughs> I guess show more. You know pay more attention to my nails. As far as like painting them. Uh, if you're new to my channel, yes, my nails are real. Um, they grow. They break. So there's always a transition in them. Uh, I've, I've always been pretty lucky with really strong nails. But I decided I'm going to try to get back into keeping them painted. But oh my gosh, what a nightmare. I am out of practice. And they look really, really rough. But anywho, enough about the nails. Uh, let's get to the kit. Um, so again, this is the second month of the all new, uh, packaging that they're, um, going with, which I like, um, especially how they are shipping the paper, because even after you use it, you can save the folders. They're really great for repurposing. So anyway, y'all know I like to start with the paper. So that's how they come now. There is the stamp and dies. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this stuff out. And get that out of the way. Uh, the first thing we're going to see is you get a whole pack of um, ivory white card blanks and envelopes. Which is really nice. 300 GSM, which is a nice weight for a card base. Um, I do like to go with a heavier weight card um, stock for my bases. So... I'm um, really happy with that. I'm going to stick those over there. I'm going to get the information card out. So that. And we are going to start with our card. So the, the first is, y'all know I'm a lover of, their weave texture card stock. Um, so they are sending cream and mauve purple so that is your textured weave um i say it every time but of course you, you never know when you have uh, a new crafter in the room and so um you know they're like well why this over that and so i will always repeat i love their texture cardstock um because it is solid core a big fan of solid core cardstock um, a lot of cardstock out there has a white core, so if you're going for a distressed look, if you tear it, it shows white. That's something I'm not a fan of. Um, so I'm a big fan of their uh, textured cardstock. Plus, to me, textured cardstock, um, to me, makes a project look nicer. If that, I don't know if that makes sense, but anywho, my opinion. You know, we all have our own tastes and preferences, and this is mine. Um, I used to be a big, big, big fan of Basil. I still like Basil, but uh, I'll do uh, Tonic over Basil anytime. But I I'm never heartbroken to work with Basil because it is also a great cardstock to work with. Uh, the next is the Pearlescent Card in Gleaming Lilac. And the pearlescent card is their only specialty card that is double-sided. Um, all of their other specialty cards, which means not the textured uh, weave, 
um, is single-sided only, which we will see uh, next. Then we have the Iridescent Mirror card in Petal Pink. And to me, this has more of a purple hue than a pink hue, um, but that is my opinion. Uh, next, we have Specialty Card in Golden Mosaic. I, and I really like this. Um, this is something I would use if I were doing like a um, an Art Nouveau or 20s style project. Um, this really speaks to me for that. The next one is Specialty Card Lilac Waves. Now, I love this particular style, especially their blues are absolutely stunning. Um, waves for a, a reason because it does it looks like waves but their their blue ones are absolutely gorgeous when you are working with like a nautical uh, a beachy you know anything like that it's absolutely stunning um, and this is really pretty too but this is one of my favorite of their specialty cards we have specialty paper in warm dahlia this is another um, specialty that I love, especially in the pinks and the lavenders. Um, they're very soft, really pretty. Um, and this gold one is, is gorgeous as well. And then the last one is um, specialty paper in peach parfait. Um, I like the color. However, most people know I am not a huge fan of hearts. So... Um, the way I would use this, it would be uh, some somehow to minimize the the hearts. So that is the paper and cardstock for this particular kit. Next, um, I just had the yeah right here. So the first one in this series they sent. I don't know what that what got onto my my deal. But uh, they sent this really nice um, binder, and so this will be going in the in here as soon as this video is done. And it also comes with a sticker, which I like to me vintage pop-up sentiments. So now it looks like they're saying what the project actually is, and so I always put that on the front of my envelope. The stamp set, we're going vintage here, so to me the only vintagey one is this one that says for a friend. Then we have thank you and you're the best. So there's that. And then we have our dies. And um, <clears throat> The looks like the interactive parts are on both sides. So where where's it at? Where's the oh this one here? So this particular one here is where you would mount your uh, sentiment that goes on the inside, so that when you open up your card, it 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 actually opens up and. You can kind of see it here. Um, the card opens up and the sentiment pops up out of the card. It's hard to see in this picture. And uh, I'm really hoping that maybe, which they're not, I doubt they're going to because these particular die sets you can only get in the kits. But it would be, it would be really nice if they had additional sentiments uh, for this piece here that pops up out of the card and the way it's designed the way it's designed it's hard to add to change it up um, you are pretty much stuck to this size because when the um, card closes up these little um, flaps here close in and um yeah to me it kind of limits how how much you can change this up with different stamps or dies that you might have in your own collection but um most of this are interactive pieces to make it work 
Um, I do love this particular intricate die here that adds the flourishes uh, to your card. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to see. But uh, I am um, looking forward to playing with this one. Like I said, I just wish they had included other options for this inside um, pop-up sentiment. So, because it just has, um, just to say, this one says just to say, and this one says on your, this one says on your day. So like if you're doing a, um, like a wedding card or an engagement card, something like that. Um, yeah. Anywho. And there is, there's a couple videos. I'll try to find them to put down in the link uh, to show because uh, I know that they were saying that this card here is supposed to, is supposed to show you how to put the card together. And it kind of skips a few steps. And so it, I believe it was Crafty Potential. Um, you've been following me. Y'all know that I really enjoy her. She's one of their designers. And... Um, she always does a really good job of explaining um, the kits or, you know, ways that she's used it and changed it up. So, uh, so yeah, so there's that. And I, I always like to keep these cards and stick them in just, just because. So there is the card and stamp set. And then it looks like they have a new chalk uh, embellishment mousse uh, chalk mousse um, anyway so this month you get a um, what size is this is this probably a two ounce a 60 mil uh, craft tacky glue this is really good glue for when you are working on your projects we have a nouveau, nouveau hybrid ink pad in the color spring heather so there's that. I think this is an embossing powder in soft lilac. I guess I should keep this out, right? Yeah, this is an embossing powder. You can get a couple embosses out of it. It's not a lot, but I do like their little containers. I have another <laughs> um, Nouveau Crystal Drop in the color Pale Gold. I have so much of this, it's not even funny now. Um, coming in different kits and bundles. Um, I've given some to my sister. So I have Pale Gold uh, Crystal Drops till the end of time. And then we have the um, Pure Sheen Glitter in Violet Infusion. Come on. Wow, does not want to open up. That is a really in-your-face purple. And what I like about their Pure Sheen, it is, it is a very fine uh, glitter. So, there's that. And last but not least... The new chalk mousse in the color Iced Plum, and it's very pale, very, very pale. You can, it's it's very close to the white one. It, let me grab the other three. So this is number four in the fourth color in the chalk mousse that I have seen. Let me grab the other three. Um, they are Strawberry Frappe. Uh, coconut sorbet and mint mojito and I mean that's honestly to me it's like they just took a little bit of the strawberry frappe and mixed it with the coconut and came with a very soft pale purple but this is pale enough that, you know, like I mentioned, you can add in, um, you know, some pigments, 
some ink and uh, mix it up and you know come up with your own colors somebody did ask uh, how it finishes depending on how you put it on if you rub it on with your fingers or with the blending brush um, it's very and it dries it's very soft like you know chalk is so very soft finish so anywho um, so that is the new a tonic craft kit. I guess I need to go online. I haven't even tried to see what um, September's kit is and it should be out by now. Um, like I said, I just haven't paid it any real attention. So, but any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, if you want to shoot me an email, feel free. That is listed at the very bottom of my description. Uh, down at, you know, like the the uh, the description of uh, the videos. So, any hoo ha. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Uh, depending on when you watch this, I'm posting this on Sunday. And hopefully, it doesn't take forever to upload. So, with that, I love you guys to pieces. Have a great night, great week, and talk to you later. Bye bye.